In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously gave to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, to our present observance, may benefit us from eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they, hear, when they heard this, and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expel them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Aconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. 
Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father, and from now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me, has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else, Believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do the greater ones than this. Because I am going to the Father and whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Yesterday's Gospel presents to us the dialogue between Jesus and Thomas. Thomas was telling Jesus yesterday, Show us the way. And Jesus answered Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Today, the Gospel presents to us Philip asking Jesus, or better yet, requesting Jesus to show the Father to them. And Jesus said, Whoever has seen me has also seen the Father. It seems, my dear brothers and sisters, that Philip and the rest of the disciples were so much interested to see and experience the real image and presence of the Father. Or maybe some of them were just curious or just trying to test Jesus. And Jesus, as it were, answered Philip and the rest of the disciples by telling them, Philip, have I been with you all this time? and you still do not understand? Dugay na nga naupdanay kita, pero asta subong, wala mo man gihapon maintindihan ang ginahambal ko, kag ang ginaubra ko, ang mga ginapakita ko git sa inyo. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Do you want to know what God like is? Jesus says, and this is what God is like. And this is what God does. So he answered, Philip, God eats with sinners. God is compassionate. God forgives and reconciles. God spreads healing. God brings people to an understanding of their dignity. 
God overturns the wisdom of this world and the wisdom of convenience and usefulness and power and authority. And instead, God rules with love and mercy. You still do not know the Father and you want to see the Father, Philip? The Father is someone who washes your feet. The Father is not afraid to be broken up and crushed and passed out. And eventually, of course, no? Jesus would also say, God will be crucified. God will die for you. God will be buried. And God will rose on the third day. Brothers and sisters, in the old catechism, a sacrament was defined as a visible sign of an invisible reality. It is a sacrament of truth where this invisible reality that our minds cannot fully grasp and understand becomes perceptible. The church teaches us that Jesus is the sacrament of the Father. In Jesus, we can see the image of the Father. In Jesus, we can see, and also in the person of Jesus, we can see and know who the Father is. In and through the love of Jesus, we can see and experience the love of the Father. After His glorious resurrection, Jesus ascended into heaven. And today, we are no longer able to see the physical presence of Jesus. But our faith teaches us that Jesus continues to remain with us. Jesus continues to reveal His love and presence to us. In Jesus, who is the sacrament of the Father, we continue to experience the love and the presence of the Father for all of us. And this takes place especially in the Holy Eucharist. This takes place today, at this very moment, at this very hour, as we celebrate the Holy Eucharist. Moreover, the risen Christ also continues to reveal His presence and His love to us in and through the many people to whom we relate every day. In the resurrection, we have become sacraments of the love of Jesus. Whether we like it or not, we have become the sacraments of the love of Jesus. The love and the presence of Jesus become visible through the love that we have for one another. The presence of Jesus within us and among us is revealed in the concern that we have for each other. My dear brothers and sisters, each time we reveal the presence of Jesus and each time we experience the love of Jesus among us, let us always remember it is the Father's love for all of us that is revealed. That is why Jesus in today's Gospel says, Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. As we continue the season of Easter, we are invited to experience especially the presence and the love of Jesus in the church's liturgical celebration. We are also challenged to reveal the love and the presence of Jesus in the many people with whom we relate every day. The mystery and the power of the resurrection have also empowered us so that our love has become a reminder of God's love for all of us. Each time you help someone who is, who is also in need, you also reveal the power and the love of God and the love of the Father. Biskan maghatag ka lang kang isa, katre, ka itlog sa isagid, ka pamilya, nga nagakinahanglan. You already reveal the love and the image of the Father. 
our concern for one another has now become a testament and proof of God's unfailing presence and concern in our personal lives. Brothers and sisters, in baptism, Jesus gave us the task and the mission to constantly reveal His love to one another. The presence and the love of the Father of Jesus become real and tangible in the love, in the concern, and support that we will give to one another. As we continue with our Eucharist, let us ask Jesus to give us a grace so that we may be able to continue to reveal His love to each other. May we be able to reveal the presence and the love of Jesus to one another. And like Jesus, may we too reveal the love of the Father to others. May we become the sacrament of the love of Jesus and the Father. Amen. intercessions the Lord Jesus glorified by the Father asks us to ask anything in his name let us pray that we may be sensitive to the presence and grace of God at work in us in every petition we shall say father let your face shine on us that God's mercy made visible in the face of Jesus may be manifested in our corporal and spiritual works of mercy. We pray, Father, let your face shine on us, that the love of God may be shown in the love of our brothers and sisters, for we cannot love God if we hate our neighbor. We pray, Father, let your face shine on us, that we may see the face of Christ and serve him in the least of our brothers and sisters. For whatever we do for them, we do for the Lord. We pray. Father, let your face shine on us. That for all our needs, we may have the confidence to ask the Heavenly Father in Jesus' name. We pray. Father, let your face shine on us that our faith and confidence in the Lord may empower us to become instruments of His salvation to the ends of the earth. We pray. Father, let your face shine on us. Almighty Father, open our eyes to the beauty of life and your grace at work for our salvation. Let us see your face in human faces formed in the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the to humble himself to share in our Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, by the will of the Father and the Word of the Holy Spirit, through your death you gave light to the whole world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, and from all my sin and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never allow me to be separated from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, 
I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. We shall now honor our Lady.
The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration has been offered. Go and be the sacrament of the Father's love.